welcome to Guatemala. So yesterday I landed in Guatemala City and been hanging around here for a day. And now I'm about to take a chicken bus into Antigua. So if you don't know what a chicken bus is, it's basically a school bus that's been retrofitted with like a whole bunch of like lights and uh, paint and cool. It's basically a pimped out school bus that's down here in South America that you use to travel around Guatemala. And we're gonna take one to Antigua today and see how that goes. All right, here, let's get on the bus now. Here we go. Driving around South America is crazy. You can see they like, really pimp out the buses here. With, like, all kinds of paints and lights and music and stuff. On the horn. So. Going back over there. So. There's so many of these chicken buses right here. It's pretty crazy. Just make sure that you get on the right one if you're going to Antigua from Guatemala, so a lot of people will land in Guatemala City and then go right to Antigua. Um, so when you uh, come to like, like El Trebol, uh bus station, just make sure that it actually says Antigua Guate on the sign and ask for La Directa. So that's going to be the direct route from Guatemala to Antigua because you don't want to be stopping at any of the um, more taking more connection route. You'll still have stops along the way, but you want an actual direct route to Guatemala or direct route to Antigua. This really is legit, just like a old American school bus. So let's see how this rides. It's gonna be like an hour and a half, I think, to Antigua from uh, Guatemala. So I ride to school was never quite that long. So we'll see how long a, uh, or how comfortable these seats are after an hour and a half of sitting in them. All right, also don't see any chickens in here yet, which I'm a little bit disappointed, but we're still loading the bus. So if we're lucky, maybe we'll get a couple chickens showing up. All right, let's hit the road. on some of these buses are wild. Just look at that. Maybe I'll uh, repaint my van back home to look at something like that. I'm getting inspired here. Yo, we got the music thumping now. It's gonna be a party bus, a party chicken bus. There's nothing to work on my Spanish, that's why we're here actually, but getting on this bus was easier than I thought actually, so we just kind of uh, pulled up to the uh, bus station and we just happened to park it right at the right bus to get to Antigua. So just walk on and then we'll pay when we get either off the bus or somebody will come and ask for money to get to Antigua from Guatemala City. It should be around um, 20 quetzales, which is like, I don't know, two, three dollars or something like that. US at the time of this, so not too bad to get there. There are other options you can take to get to Antigua as well, though. You can also book a shuttle for like $15 to $20, or you can Uber, take a taxi, but those are going to be more expensive. This is definitely the cheapest way to go. I also don't know if you can hear anything I'm saying right now with this music thumping, too, but I'm here for it. It's going to be a sick ride. We got vendors, we just had one lady come up with some snacks, and we got some wallets, it looks like. Yeah. So, do some shopping on the bus too. Don't think I need anything though, with my bag being so full as it is already, so I think I'm gonna pass. Uh, driver and assistant guy going by collecting money right now, so it's 20 Gonzales for city to Antigua and so you just come by and collect some of all the passengers on the way to the city. So we're good to go now so now we just gotta ride the rest of it like 45 minutes or so and then we'll be in Antigua. This is uh, one of the more major stops though. I think we're in San Lucas right now. Like, a little more than halfway on the way to Antigua but 
usually people are just like running on and off the bus at random bus stops. I'm not convinced they're real stops, they're just kind of hopping on and off, but yeah, so I think this is actually a real stop. So I'll try and see if I can get a video of somebody just like running on and off the bus here in a minute, so we'll see. Experience. So that's one way to get to uh, Antigua from Guatemala. Maybe not your preferred method, but it's definitely the cheapest. So it was like 20 quetzales, which was like a 250 or something like that for an hour and a half long bus ride. But you can also book a shuttle or take like a private taxi or something if you have an actual hotel, but doing hostels. And so uh, we are going cheap and I always go for the more experience anyway. So that was a better experience. All right, now, just gotta wander around and try and find the hostel. I do have data, or I do have cell signal when traveling, but for some reason it is not working super great on me right now, so we're just gonna wander around until we find our hostel. I did get kind of, kind of a cool hostel this time. So I'm at um, Selena Antigua. Selena's like kind of a, more of a corporatized um, hostel chain. Not corporatized in a bad way, they just have a lot of different locations. But I, the room I booked is like a, big tent kind of thing. So there's like 14 people in a massive tent with a fire ring in the middle. So I don't know, that sounds like it's gonna be kind of cool. So we'll see if we can find it. Uh, so wish me luck. Yeah, they really pack them in there on that bus too. It's like there was a point where it's like I had three full grown adults and a child in my one singular two person seat. So, so we're here for the experience. That's what we like. So I got like three more days uh, here in Antigua before my classes start. So I'm taking Spanish classes while I'm here. Um, still in Antigua, but I just, I'm just doing a homestay for that point. So I'll be out of the hostel and living with a local Guatemalan family and getting some home-cooked meals. So super excited about that. We're in the middle of the road, so I'm gonna get out of the road. And yeah, just wanted to come here a couple days early to get some exploring in, do some hiking and seeing what else we got here in Antigua. All right, we're almost at the hostel now, so. Let's go. I think it's just somewhere down on this road here. I'm gonna jump onto the other side again. Everything's super historic here. This is kind of kind of cool. All the cobblestone streets, but be annoying to drive on. So probably just gonna be doing a lot of walking. All right, almost to the hostel. All right, there she is. There's my home for the next like three nights or so. Not a bad spot. Just in the middle of this colorful street. I'm gonna go before these cars get here, but. Should be pretty cool. Let's take a look inside. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, got all kinds of cool stuff on the wall here. Look at this. This is sick. This is awesome. Dang. It's also like significantly cooler in here already than just being outside. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we were, we were at a couple points where we were like, ooh, thank you. Dang, look at this. Is that like a sick courtyard? 
Let's walk over. Let's walk this way. Oh, got some volleyball and stuff set up too. Nice. Yeah, this will do, I guess. It's not a bad spot. All right, it's gonna go check in and then I'll show you the super cool tent or at least I'm thinking it's gonna be super cool. I have not actually seen it yet. Uh, oh, wait, no, we got some hammocks too. Definitely gonna be spending some time lounging in these hammocks. All right, go check in and then I'll show you the room. All right, I'll check in now. I gotta go find my room slash tent thing. So we just by the looks of this. This is kind of a pretty cool looking hostel. This is like a little bed thing. Um, they covered it up because it just started raining right now though, which it commonly does in the afternoons and in Guatemala in the summertime. Uh, then there's also this, this cool restaurant here. I don't think it's part of Selena technically, but I hear that they do have really good food. So I'll definitely be back to try that out. Um, I don't know, we've got a cool car thing. Then let's walk through here. Got some music playing, a little cafe, I think. Cool little bar and cafe, and then here we got the pool. Let's walk through the pool. Oh, and a water slide too? Check that out. Let's see the water. Water feels nice. It's starting to rain a little bit harder though, so I'm gonna try and find the room a little bit quickly instead of wandering around. What else we got here? We got some bocce. Uh, that's back under the cafe. Lots of really cool seating and like those like I don't know, hanging seats, like tabletops, and stuff like that. Um, oh, there's a co-working area too, so if you need to get some work done, you can go do some co-working and have like an actual desk and stuff. Um, oh, some more dorms over here and it's really starting to rain, but it's kind of crazy that this was like $22 a night for all of this. It's like everything included, except maybe the co-work. I think the co-work's a little bit extra if I remember right. But so even like outdoor gym over there, a little patio because they do like yoga and have a whole bunch of other events. And then another Selena kitchen. So you can go here, actually we'll walk in. So this is the kitchen that you can use to cook all of your stuff. Um, so you can buy food, buy whatever you want and come and cook it in here. So we'll see how much I actually cook in here versus going out to eat. Now, when I was walking past, I did see the entrance to my spot, which is good because it's raining harder. So I need to get inside now. Right here, let's go. All right, I'm gonna walk up to the store. Now there is a code. So I'm going to hide the code. All right, let's check this out. Pretty dark in here, but pretty cool. We got a big fireplace in the middle. It goes like up on the top there. And you just basically choose a bed. Never been in a hostel like this before, so pretty excited for these kind of accommodations. All right, I'm just gonna pick my favorite bed, and then I'm probably gonna do some work. Yeah, this was a pretty solid find for a, for a hostel for like 22 bucks a night. So that's a win for me. Definitely gonna need to get some work done. So we got some faster Wi-Fi here too. Uh, so I think that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go walk around and explore the city of Antigua for a little bit and then come back here and get some work done. So that's gonna do it for this video. We made it here on our nice chicken bus and there's a nice uh, difference, like just the craziness of the chicken bus and then just how like, much nice and I don't know, just nice and different that this hostel is compared to the bus. So uh, if you wanna see more stuff here in Guatemala and Antigua, I'll be posting a lot more videos. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna see that. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.